Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Text. So today we are going to talk about the aesthetics function in ggplot. And what I noticed is that uh, people who even use ggplot on daily basis uh, don't truly really understand how this works. So this episode is not going to take long, but it's really important for you to truly understand mechanics behind this function. Definition says that purpose of aesthetic function is to provide variables from our data source to geometry. And that is basically what this function does. Basically what is important, uh, every geometry, it doesn't matter what kind of geometry you are using, needs a aesthetic function. And you can provide a aesthetic function uh, to your uh, main ggplot function or to any geometry function. So what you can do? To this ggplot function I'm going to provide data as our data source and I'm going to provide a static function. So uh, you can uh, use arguments like x equals x or you could just uh, provide x as our first argument, y for our second argument. And rest of arguments must be provided as optional arguments. So let's say fill categories and now we can add any geometry we want. Let's say geom point or geom line. Save it, run it. What happened in here is that uh, our uh, geom point and geom line geometries have inherited uh, these aesthetics from a main function. And instead of fill, in here we are going to provide color run it again okay this is better but now if we copy this aesthetic function and if we provide that to our uh, geom line and let's say I'm going to change this to let's say 10 color and I'm going to remove this from here if I run this code look what is going to happen so in this case, uh, we have uh, for uh, y value 10 constantly. So what just happened? Aesthetics uh, from our uh, geometry line have overwritten mappings from our main ggplot function. So what is important to know? Uh, you could have your uh, aesthetics in geometry or in ggplot function, but you cannot do something like this. If I remove uh, my aesthetics from ggplot function. If I run this code, this code is going to crash. Why? Because uh, there is no aesthetics for geom point to inherit. So now I'm just going to reverse this code change, save it, run it. And one more important thing, you could provide a variable to your aesthetics or you could provide constant value, doesn't matter. But what is that you cannot do? Let's say if we want to change color of uh, this line, what we can do? We can uh, base this uh, color on categories or we could uh, base this color on uh, Y value. Completely doesn't matter, but we cannot say something like this. We cannot provide textual value to optional argument in aesthetics function. If I run this code, you see, we are going to get default red color. If you need to provide constant value to geometry uh, that is based on textual value, you are going to do that outside of your aesthetic function, like this. So now we are going to get black line. Run it. And vice versa. You cannot provide a variable from data source uh, outside of aesthetic function. You cannot say something like color categories. This code is going to crash. As I said, you cannot say even something like data dollar. This is not going to work too, but we can use textual values. This is going to be nice or we can change this by setting color based on categories in aesthetics. Run it. So guys, as I promised, this episode is quite straightforward, but this is simply what you must understand in order to use aesthetics function properly. So I truly hope that you have learned something interesting. So if you like this content, please like, subscribe and see ya.